If you didn't watch last night, the headline this morning is there were a lot of back and forth moments between Democrats and Republicans, between the president and Republicans. Republicans started fighting back and booing and chanting and standing up and yelling it was things. A crazy. If they disagreed with something he said, if they thought that he wasn't telling the truth. One of the biggest moments was when he talked about Medicare and Social Security. We knew he was probably going to say this going up to it. If you watched any of our shows, we were all saying he's going to say that Republicans want to get rid of your Social, social Security. They want to get rid of your Medicare. Care. Right. Well, he did that, and Republicans were prepared. Watch their reaction. So my many, of, some of my Republican friends want to take the economy hostage. I get it, unless I agree to their economic plans. All of you at home should know what those plans are. Instead of making the wealthy pay their fair share, some Republicans, some Republicans want Medicare and Social Security to sunset. I'm not saying it's a majority. <laughs> give you a copy of the proposal. That means Congress doesn't vote. Well, I'm glad to see you. No, I tell you, I, I enjoy conversion. Okay, so what he's talking about, Rick Scott had a suggestion about uh, sunsetting Social Security and Medicare. That was just one suggestion a while back, but we knew that Joe Biden was going to do this because he does it every time. He talks about how Republicans want to cut your Social Security and Medicare, which really angers people. It Also, it's not true. But here's the thing. You could tell that that was, uh, that was inserted in the speech because he wanted to bait the Republicans. And then he wanted to have some back and forth, and he did. You think he wanted that? Absolutely. You know why? Because he had a big smile on his face. Well, he was yeah, so he reacted happy in the that, room. Yeah, he was so he happy that the Republicans got ahead and and uh, cheer, but jeered they called, at him. But they there's, called there's him out no on way. it. They yeah. said, I don't there's think no he wanted, he wanted it either. That. And let no. me tell you why, Steve, because he said the Republicans were yelling, we didn't want that, you're a liar. And then that, then right. he has to he has to be on the defensive. He lost and he, the he talking said, point. Exactly. Oh, and see. then he said, wait a minute. Oh, so y'all are on the same page as I am? So we agreed. He said, he said, so I guess we all agree now. Let's discuss our mutual plans together. Right. And at that point, McCarthy stands up. Right, because he said, okay, if that's off the table, now let's talk about the seniors. I was talking, the reason I said that was Peter Ducey, and nobody has seen Joe Biden give more speeches than Peter Ducey over the last five years. Peter said you could tell the way that that was written that he wanted to engage the Republicans, and ultimately he did. And what did he do? He got them to essentially say, okay, that's off the table. Now let's move on to social security. But he, didn't, he knew that. He knew that wasn't even in debate. Kevin McCarthy, but it's just about Kevin clips. McCarthy in the People afternoon the gave a, Kevin McCarthy in the afternoon said Medicare and Social Security right. are not in the conversation when it comes to the debt ceiling. Number two it was Rick Scott. Rick right. Scott did this crazy thing and said. Social Security is going to be bankrupt in 10 years. So he said, we have to look at this and reform it. And they said, oh, we got a talking point for the midterms. But actually, Rick Scott was actually being responsible, but politically, it was detrimental.